to allow you to carry items and pick up items. So the inventory needs to be usable all over the game. So global variable, global inventory, inventory is it. This means it's a list. So lists allow you to hold multiple objects, multiple variables inside it. So now what we can do is if they try to open the door, we can say if key in inventory, so this checks the inventory and sees if this object's in it, print you unlock the door and go into the hallway. Else, so if the key is not in the inventory, print it's locked. And then print lock else. So if we check this, so run, entrance. So we're trying to go into the room, into the house, but it's locked. So now that part works. We need to add a place where the user can actually pick up the key. In the design, it was on the roof of the house. So go onto the roof of the house and we ask them, do they want to look around or go to the front? So if choice is F, go to the front. L if choice equals L. Um, print you pick up the key. To add this to my inventory, inventory.append. So append just means add. And it says append an object. So just append the word key. And then, um, yeah, I have to just do roof house. So let's play it again. So let's try. Go to the roof, look around, pick up the key. Go back down, go into the house. And as you can see now, you unlock the door. That's because the key is in the inventory, so we can unlock the door and move on. So that's all you have to do. Create a global variable of a list, and then you can add items to the list, and you can check if things are in the list, and to use if statements to do this. So that's what you need to try to do.